Hello, and welcome to the Hundred Acre Wood. Won't you please tell us who you are? Click on the letters to spell out your name for us. Then press the play button when you're finished. Hey, Internet, it's Colorful Artie, and... <laughs> Yeah, you might be surprised to see the game that I've decided to play today, and you're probably even more intrigued by the title. Well, let's just say this will explain itself. So, for starters, look at this great main menu screen. Oh, you can just see everything. Oh, look, more stuff Give a appears. Give here if you must stop playing our game for now. Hmm, are you sure you gotta get going? Nope. Yeah, as you can see, uh, some graphical bugs here. Yeah, this is interesting. So we're picking new player. We will name ourselves... Poo. Yes, indeed. Let's start. And now, let us see what Poo is up to, shall we? He knows my name! The cutscenes have perfect graphics, but for some reason Here the main menu does not. Here our story begins, <laughs> deep in the heart of a most remarkable place called the Hundred Acre Wood. And in this forest there lives a bear named Winnie the Pooh, or Pooh for short. Which would be me. <laughs> and I'm so glad you've come by for a visit so we could... Oh! <laughs> My tumbly's a bit rumbly this morning. Now Pooh, though a bear of very little brain, soon began to think that something was not as it should be. Oh, yes, I know you're hungry. You generally are. Perhaps there's something more? My insides are trying to tell my outside something, but neither of us know what it is. Think, think, think. The more Pooh thought, the more Pooh was sure he was forgetting something important. I've been there. Do you remember? Neither do I. Think, think. The last thing I forgot to remember was... Um, Eeyore's birthday. So that must be it. Today must be Eeyore's birthday. Let's go tell the others, and we'll give Eeyore a birthday party he shall never forget. And so Pooh went off to tell his friends the very grand news. So this starts off one of the best video game plots ever. Now then, whom shall I tell first? <laughs> Once again, more graphical bugs here. So yeah, these are all the different places we can go. Or if we push the exit sign, hmm. go for a light sure? up the area for us. Just some very interesting design choices were made for this game. But yeah. Begin a new game. Piglet's house. Pooh's house. Kanga and Roo live here. Tigger lives here. Owl's house. Rabbit's house and garden. Christopher Robin's party spot. So, this is where the party's gonna happen. Let's check this place out. And now, maybe I'll visit the spot where we shall have Eeyore's surprise birthday party. That's a good idea, Pooh. This is where we shall have Eeyore's party. <laughs> Once I've invited all the others, that is. Well, it doesn't look like there's a lot here yet. But, uh, we can spruce the place up eventually. But, yeah. Basically, this game... You'd think if, if with the name, like, Winnie the Pooh Preschool, it would be pretty easy. But, um, no. It's not. It is brutally difficult. I am, I'm not joking when I say that. So, each game will have three different difficulties. And, let's just say most of the level three difficulties are completely... Completely and utterly ridiculous. And a lot of the times it's hard to tell if the reason for that is because it was designed to be difficult, or if it was just like really poor programming that made it that way. Anyways, well, I'll, sh I'll show you what I mean. 
So I better go tell the others it's Eeyore's birthday. Yeah, you better poo. So let's start Tigger with Tigger's here. house. This is, this seems like a pretty simple one, but it's really not. I suppose I shall pop by Tigger's house now. And so Pooh set off to find Tigger. <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> you will be joining us for Eeyore's birthday today, won't you, Tigger? Eeyore's birthday? Well, of course I will, as sure as my name is Tigger, which it is. That's T I double G -er. <laughs> Of course, I gotta get my magical music machine ready first. If you help me get four songs loaded up, we can make some magical music at the party. <laughs> now, where did I put the witcher? So Tigger's apparently running like a garage out of his house. That, or it's a dump. You decide. Okay, so. For Tigger's minigame, it actually only has one difficulty. The thing is... There seems to be a oh. set of pipes missing from Tigger's marvelous new music machine. Roll over the papers to hear the sound they should make. Find the set on the conveyor belt that sounds the same and put it in the machine. Now our friend Tigger is going to need some help with four songs. There are the three he's been working on, plus one he'll bring to Eeyore's party. Okay, so... Sounds simple enough, right? You'd think you could, oh yeah, just move the mouse onto the blueprints up there, and then match the sound accordingly. The problem is, as you can see, the blueprints haven't loaded properly, so that actually doesn't work. So basically, this minigame is just trial and error. Oh yeah, and uh, <laughs> forgot to mention something. If you make even one mistake, it won't count this as a win, so yeah. We basically have to randomly guess four in a row correctly, so I think the drum... Darn it. Yeah, this well, is just come really back bad when design. You can, so I can finish up my music and get ready for the big party. We will, Tigger. We will. <laughs> Pooh, I wasn't done in Tigger's house. And who do you think we should visit next? Tigger. I suppose I shall pop by Tigger's house now. <laughs> Not that I really have to move. <laughs> Say, you're just in time to help me out. You go on and get started. I gotta find my ball peen ratchet canoodie. <laughs> the left handed one, of course. I must say, the animations are pretty good in this game. But the game design is terrible. Alright, let's try the cuckoo bird. These pipes don't seem to quite fit. Turn it. Well, some other well oh, this is off to a can, great so start, isn't my it? Music and get ready for the big party. Uh, expect a lot of this. I suppose I should... Say... <laughs> Don't you love how they just reuse the same animations, though? Alright. The balloon? There we go! Yes, first one done. Well, that's just it. Wait till Tigger sees... Or hears this. <laughs> Beautiful. No, it just load the star. It always just doesn't load it. I turn my back for half a minute or three and just look at what you've done. Stuff I couldn't. <laughs> three more songs and I'll be ready for Eeyore's birthday day party. <laughs> <sighs> this game could have been much better, but it's not. Okay, time to guess. We've got. Trumpet, bell, or big bell. Trumpet? This sounds like Tigger. If you really no! want to see some music again, well, come back when you. I suppose. Say. <laughs> yeah. This is, um, this is not doing well. Let's see, let's try the bell. Darn it! Well, come back. It's all just trial and error. So I guess this one isn't, like, hard. It's just you're going to be taking a very long time trying to do it. Boy, am I glad. 
Yes, Tigger, you're glad to see us. Alright, I guess it's the big bell. Yeah. Oh my, you've done it all. <laughs> Woo! Can you load you the blueprint? It. No, you can't. Some music to my ears each. Two more songs, and we'll be all done. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. There are free difficulties for this one, but one is actually the most difficult because this is the only like difficulty where the blueprint doesn't load properly. All right, cuckoo bird, swallower, and a ducky. It's the ducky, right? Uh, of course, it's not. Let's try some other. Well, I suppose. This is just tedious. Some of them are some of the games are worse than others. I will say. Like Okay, is it the uh, swallower? It is the swallower. You are most magnificently musical. <laughs> Yay. Whoa, Tigger, is that what I think it is? I think it's the bottle. Oh, yeah! How very well done. <laughs> Thank you, Pooh Bear. Yes! How can I ever thank you enough? Eeyore's gonna be so happy! Well, as happy as an Eeyore can be, I suppose. <laughs> Yay, we beat Tigger's level! You can keep helping if you'd like. Or not, if you'd rather. Okay, so... Hmm, let's see... Oh, I know. I will show you guys here what difficulty free is like and what the game is actually supposed to be like. See, the blueprint reloads for number free. Where you like help monitor over this. So basically, you hear that sound and then you need to find uh, the one dear. thing down here that matches the sound, which is in this case is this one. Sets of pipes. Move to the plan. Then you just put that in the there. Sounds he needs. Check the pipes. I know, Mr. Available. Narrator. Thank you. When you hear those same sounds, move the pipes to the machine. Keep going until you found all three sets. Yeah, so level three is actually much easier Click than level one. to make the one. game easiest of all. Um, that would be three or two. Does 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 it load for two? It does load for two. So one is by far the hardest difficulty. Only on Tiggers, though, which is weird. I do not know why the blueprint does not load for Tiggers, but it's weird. Anyways, <sighs> whatever. Whew. Thanks for all the help with all your helpful help. I'll see you when the party's starting. Yeah, of course you will, Tigger. And now we should visit some other someone. Oh, but which someone shall it be? Good question, Pooh Bear. Hmm. You know what? I know. Begin a new game. Oh, now Owl's House is the only mini game that actually like, works properly, so and it's actually like went easier. To tell Owl of Eeyore's birthday surprise. Owl, oh, just what precisely is it that you are doing exactly? Immediately sorting through my family tree. Uh, now, was it uh, Great Uncle Harry, or Third Nephew Larry, or dash it all, this is so confounding. Maybe we could help, Owl, would you? Could you? I should be so very grateful indeed. With my friend helping, I believe we'll be done in no time at all, or even less. And then you can come along to Eeyore's party. <laughs> Today's his birthday, you know. Splendid! <laughs> is it though, Pooh? Does anyone have a calendar for that? Okay, so yeah, this is level one. Look at the pictures on each side of the page, and find pictures on the table that match. Keep putting them in the album until you have them all put away. 
Oh, my gracious! I have six pages to sort before this album is finished. Oh, if you'll help me get them done, I shall be delighted to join you at Eeyore's party. <laughs> I never realized that owls' relatives will all look slightly different. That's a very nice touch. And apparently owls look- I just can't tell who's related to which family, even though it's blatantly obvious. But yeah, this is level one. We, we're gonna do the hardest one. Oh look, yeah, it doesn't load properly except for this one for some reason. The we can actually the move our mouse on crop to the top of them, makes them different. and then most of it will find load. one on the table to match it and place it in the album. Okay. Look carefully. Some of the photos on the desk yeah, right. don't belong at all. So green bows on this side. My, but you're good at this. And I'm guessing. Okay, that one already had it. Oh, sweet, yeah. I and blue say, bows on this side. Done in no time. Hooray for you! You finished two pages. Only two more sets to go. Oh, sweet. Yeah, and like this, this game actually, like once you get past the first round, it's actually very easy and well put together. Bravo! Good show. So we get spots on this side. And triangles Sorry, on this side. Is something you do very well. Thank Aha, you. Cool. You finished four pages. <laughs> this leaves us with let's see now uh, three times twelve, carry the eight, less the six. Why? <laughs> well, there's only one more set to go. I don't think that math's right, Owl. So oh, then we need Owl's families that are split. <laughs> oh yes, Pooh. Oh, I did it when I was a little kid. <laughs> it ran more properly on Windows XP. You have done what I could not. As a gift for Eeyore's birthday, I shall bring him a framed photo. <laughs> of you? That's a little you egotistical. If you'd like. <laughs> or not, if you'd rather. Yeah, Owls well, is I actually very well done, and it's easy. The rest, not so much. <laughs> and now we should visit some other someone. Oh, but which someone shall it be? Uh, Kenya and Rue live here. We're going to Kenga's Perhaps house. It's very similar to Tigger's. In that it's basically and so trial and error. Rue set off to find Kanga and Rue, so he might tell them the exciting news. Excuse me, but oh, did Rue you know is so that cute. today, of all days, is a rather special day for Rior? Because you see, it is his birthday. <laughs> Would you like to come along to his party? Why, of course. Rue and I were just making some alphabet soup. If you'll help us finish three batches, we'll be happy to come along. Three? Oh, I should oh, be no. very glad to help. Perhaps our friend can help with the helping, too. Oh, boy. Okay, um... <laughs> so, level one? Very easy. It's basically you... Z? Hang on, you he'll take explain. A look at the alphabet cookbook, you'll see that the grayish letters are missing from the soup. Find the matching noodles and pop them in the pot. Yeah, so very simple. So we can see that it still needs an A, an L, a Q, a V, and an X. Pretty simple. Also, is that a mushroom or is that a T? I'm really not sure. Level two? Well, this is where things get problematic. Because we can't see the which letters are right in the soup the anymore. The soup. And same with level 3. And level 3 is really the only reason it's harder than 2 is because you need to... Yeah. Actually, I don't really know yeah. how it is harder. Look at the grayish letters in the cookbook to see what's missing from the soup. I can't! They haven't the rendered properly! Letter, add it to the pot. Ah, <sighs> yeah. Okay, Rue has a more obnoxious singing voice than I remember. I'm sorry, I won't put you guys through that again. Okay, so... It gets a bit more annoying than Tigger's, because for Tigger's, you just had to guess one in one sitting. Here we have to guess who knows how many. So, eggplant, maybe? Oh, yay, we got the first one wrong. Hooray. 
And much like Tiggers, if you screw it up. I suppose they do. But perhaps they'll come back and help us finish our soup for the party. We will, Kringle, but the problem is if we get any wrong, it doesn't count. Christopher Robin's party spot. Can you perhaps Yes, we did. Oh, hey! Oh! So that's the secret! Yeah, we even come back once it's on free! Oh, sweet! Zucchini. Ew. Why would you put apples and eggplants and uh, mushrooms and yams and zucchinis and peppers and. What is this? Q. Quince. Quince. I have literally Q4 never heard of that the before. ABCs, easy as one, two, three. <laughs> oh, isn't this wonderful? Only two more batches to go. Okay, so that's the key to doing the soup, is you need to set it to free, leave, and come back. Okay, oh, asparagus. Asparagus. Uh, beans. C. Cabbage. Cabbage. Figs. Grape, oh, potatoes, and sausage all in the same soup. The ABCs, Ew. One, two, three. Remind me to never eat Kenga's alphabet soup. How lovely. Just one more batch, and we'll be ready for Eeyore's party. Oh, how grand. Okay, this game's not quite as hard as I remember. At least, these ones. Unfortunately, I'm kind of doing these in a, uh, ascending difficulty. Mushrooms. Pea pods. Sausage. Tomato. And zucchini. I think you made a super soup. Wow, Pooh, that was bad. Thank you, dear, for all your wonderful help. Now we have a lovely present for Eeyore's party and some delicious soup for us, too. Ugh, wow, apparently Rue is not a picky eater. You can keep helping if you'd like. Or not if you'd rather. Oh, well, as much as I would <laughs> love to help. Uh, <laughs> well, <my> dear, <laughs> as much as I would love to help. Starts. Yes, Perfect. that is it. Oh, thanks, Rue. Okay, and now we should let's visit see. some other someone. Oh, but which someone shall it be? Hmm. Pooh's house. Oh, we need to go back to Pooh's house. I think I shall go home for a rather short nap. And so Pooh went home, where a little nap was waiting to be taken. You actually do have to go back here and complete this mini game to complete your party. Pooh settled in for his nap. Oh, think, think, think. I really must think of a nice present for Eeyore. Oh, but all oh, this thinking is a rather. Tiring thing. Perhaps I shall dream up just the right gift. So, it's kind of an interesting premise. Like, we have to help Pooh in his dream find the ideal gift for Eeyore. It's a little weird, but, you know, it's a preschool game, so I will give it a pass. Alright. So, basically, uh, well, the I always forget the narrator will explain <laughs> Christopher Robin. Christopher Robin. Hair nice and neat. No, he's dreaming. Who dreams of climbing clouds? But first, he must get all the clouds together. The bottommost cloud tells a story with a beginning and middle, but no end at all. If you find a little cloud that finishes the story, Pooh can finish his dream. Yeah, so it's basically like fill in the blank nice with the thing that's cream. most relevant. So for this one, it will be ice cream, sun, melted ice cream. That makes sense. Ice cream or ice cream, sun, Christopher Robin Christopher looking Christopher happy because he likes ice, ice cream and he likes the sun. But this is just level one. So level oh, one, very stuff. intuitive. Level three, not so much. Okay, so this one kind of is. So we've got a beach ball and a loaf of bread. Each Doesn't make sense. Each story has a beginning and an end. It's the middle that's missing. Find the needed cloud piece so Pooh can climb to the very tip top of the clouds. Yeah, so this one, the middle piece is always missing. So we've got... Christopher Robin, hair nice and neat. 
Christopher Robin about to take a big bite of cake. So that's clearly the one we need. Just as it should be. So that was an easy one. Some of these are extremely unintuitive, though. And once again, if you screw up once, then, well, you're done. A Pooh Bear fairly full. <laughs> hey, Tigger. A taped up book. A book for coloring. A rather pointed pin. So, for this one, we a got a ball, ball. And then a deflated ball. So, a that's clearly the pin. tack. Good thinking indeed. So we're we've gotten lucky thus far with some pretty simple ones. So pick up a flying a kite and then a wrecked kite. Uh, it's probably because the kite got caught in a tree. A tree with hardly any leaves at all. And that was wrong. Apparently, a pretty prickly bush. I thought it would, he would be more likely to get caught in the tree, a tree. than a bush, but I guess it's piglet. So. Oh, stuff and fluff. <sighs> Oh, though I still do not know just what to get you all, I suppose I should be on my way. Okay. This is Whose house? not ideal, but all right. I think I shall think about what to give you all as I nap. All right. We're back to round two with Pooh. <laughs> Christopher Robin. A boy about to bite into a cold popsicle. <laughs> Christopher Robin wearing a hat. Christopher Robin had a ball, but then when he got a new hat, he decided he didn't really want to keep inflating his ball. A so it deflated. Ball. No. That's right. The striped ball is now flat as a fritter. <laughs> as flat as a fritter. There's something we don't hear in the USA very much. Okay. <laughs> Rue's like, what? I didn't know that eggs became chicks. <laughs> Why does Tigger keep appearing and making the narrator's voice not work? A rather wet Tigger. Now, it's obviously this one. There you have it. Although Rue's face could have worked too. <laughs> We got balloons, something else, and then deflated balloons. So, it, that's gonna be the tack again. Quite right again. Or Christopher Robin throwing a balloon that's deflating. That could definitely be the case as well. Christopher Robin has a hat, then all of a sudden the hat's not on Christopher Robin because he went to eat Nothing cake. Comes. Yeah, like, it's like. None of these really work, because it's like, you got Christopher Robin in the hat, and then you've got just the hat. A oh, 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 oh! Wait, hang on. That that would make sense if oh, it was the last one. Because the snowman has the hat on his... A fine fat snowman. Yeah, it's gotta be that one. But no, of course not. Ugh. <sighs> This game. This game. I do. <laughs> Most. I feel like these are just very unintuitive. All right. So that one's off. Christopher obvious. Robin about to bite into an apple. Christopher Robin about to bite. Good going indeed. The apple would have at very least one bite taken from it. Yeah, Christopher Robin took one bite, then just left it tree, and then all of a sudden a tree with no leaves. Uh, it's because Piglet flew his kite into a small it. Animal and a large kite. Or Pooh like, oh, I just climbed the tree and got the honey. Now I'm full. Unfortunately, a lot of the leaves fell as well. Or t Tigger's? Oh! Tigger's got leaves falling off of him. You can Tigger. see? Nope. Guess it was the wind. It, lo it seriously looked like Tigger had weaves coming off of him. Seriously! <laughs> oh my gosh. I think Winnie the Pooh preschool. My foot. 
Oh, Piglet with a kite, then Piglet flying a kite. Okay, that's got to be the wind, because you need wind to fly a kite. A fine job. The kite would fly quite well in the wind. Yep. Uh, all right, Pooh. We got Tigger in some swim trunks. Tigger with the leaves coming off of him. Um, uh, I guess this one? <laughs> That's the only one with Tigger in it. What a clever one you are. Loaf of bread, nothing. Sliced bread, okay. That is courtesy of the knife. Why can't they all be that simple? That's it. A grown-up uses a knife to slice bread. Oh, I'm glad they put the grown-up down so that way they didn't have preschool kids trying to cut uh, with a very sharp knife. That would be a bad idea. Balloon! We've seen this one before. Yay! Alright, we just need one more and then we can finally get the gift for Eeyore. Balloons! Yay! Deflated balloons. <laughs> Tigger did it! <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> it's like Tigger's like, yeah, I deflated the balloons. <laughs> no, it was the tack. Oh boy, yes. Pooh in his dream has found another bed, so now we're gonna have an inception kind of thing For going on there, here. Eating honey is like paradise. <laughs> but sometimes a nap is nicer than nice. Oh, oh, I like the I rhyme. Think I shall have one now. <laughs> You can't take a nap in if a nap. You'll help Pooh dream up one more dream. Oh, I'm I have sure to do it again. The perfect present for you. Darn it! All right, maybe I'll get some easy ones again. Okay, okay, we've seen this one before. It's the kite in the gorse bush for some reason. That's wow, it, Piglet. I fear the poor kite would be left terribly tattered. How would you even fly it into a bush, though? Yay! I love it when it's just the tack. Christopher Robin, did you take a bite into the ball? Another well, I guess the cone right. could have done it as well, but... Tack's more likely. Now we got a tree. Okay. It's not Tigger this a time. Most windiferous wind. It's the wind. wind. You've done it. Autumn winds blow the leaves right off the tree. Well, I mean... It, the leaves will fall even without wind. Okay, we've got Christopher Robin, and then we've got Christopher Robin. Oh, great! <laughs> what? <laughs> it's literally Christopher Robin and Christopher Robin again. Uh, uh, uh what? <laughs> Oh, stuff and fluff. See, this is what I mean. Like, occasionally you get ones like this, where it's like, none of them make sense. Uh... Yeah, I guess the... Cone? A cone. Okay. Oh, he had very, very slightly messed up hair in the first one. Okay. Um, oh, we've got two Christopher Robin about to eat ones. Uh... Oh, he's eating an apple in that one. Cake in this one! Yeah! Okay, there is one where it's literally like, Rue. And like, Rue sad, then Rue happy, and then it's like, which one of these is right? And none of them really make sense. It's like, oh, it's an egg. Oh, it's a bar of soap. Oh, it's a comb. Or like, oh, it's a tree. That's it. I shall give Eeyore a fine pot of honey for his birthday. <laughs> and perhaps he'll share a bit with a certain someone who just happens to be me. <laughs> And now, I shall take another smallish nap. <sighs> Pooh, that's kind of a selfish birthday like. gift to give. Or not, if you'd like. Now, I am done with Pooh's dream time. Okay. And now, we should visit some other someone. Oh, but which someone shall it be? So, I've saved the hardest for last. Rabbit and Piglet. 
which one is which one to do first? Um. See, they're just like a different kind of hard. Like Piglet is like nearly impossible Once to you figure decide out. Whose house you'd like to visit, Whereas Rabbit is just pick. extremely hard in execution. So uh, I think I'll go with Rabbit. I think I shall go see my good friend Rabbit. Rabbit's you was my favorite on and easy so, mode. Pooh made his way to Rabbit's house to or, tell or him actually, the level two. most special day. Level three is just completely unfair, though. Hello, Rabbit. Yes, Pooh Bear. Hello. I'm sorry, I can't talk now. Too much to do, you know, and too little time to do it. But you see, it's Eeyore's birthday today. And we were rather hoping you'd come to his party. Maybe we can help you do, um, whatever it is that um, you're doing. Who, you? <laughs> you couldn't possibly help me. I mean, really, that's, uh, that's, uh, say, that's not just a bad idea. Come with me. Yeah. Rabbit makes us, well, let's just say he drives us like a slave. Oh, would you help me can these fruits and vegetables before the next harvest comes in? I'll pass you a jar, and on the jar, I've written how many fruits or vegetables are inside. Find the label that matches the number on each jar, and we'll be done in no time. This jar has four apricots in it. Okay, so level one super easy. You literally just find the number here that four. matches and put it this on there. This jar has four it's apricots. It's extremely easy. Level two gets a little bit more difficult, Help but not super bad. Fruit and vegetables in jars before next harvest. He'll tell you what he needs in each jar. The label on the jar will remind you how many to put in. Click on the lid when you're done. I want five strawberries. So, yeah, he'll tell you how much you need, and then you just need to put each one inside the jar, then shut the jar, and he'll take it. It's still not so bad. Level 3, on the other hand, basically he'll have, like, a like a set of vegetables in, like, a certain number, and he'll be like, I want this many of that, like, of this vegetable. So, like, let's say it's, like, potatoes. You'll have, like, a huge shelf of potatoes with, like, some will have, like, four potatoes, some will have five, some will have, like, eight. And it can be kind of hard Click to determine on the vegetable how vegetable or fruit rabbit would like in Please each don't jar interrupt me, and sir. Fill the jar one piece at a time. So like it can, because it's like it can be a little it can take a little time to see how many of like each vegetables in each group. The problem is on level 3, you need to do it insanely fast. Like a ridiculously ridiculously fast. You also need to actually put the label on the jar. So I need to psych myself up for this, because this is completely insane how fast you have to go. Alright. Help Rabbit can his also, you need to do that to before the next them. harvest is ready. He'll tell you how much he wants in each jar. It's okay. up to you to put the fruit or vegetables in, then add a label. Click on the lid when you're all done. I want two pairs. No, <laughs> oh, darn it, that is too slow. But when you can, let's uh, it's, can. The game more. lagged at just the wrong <laughs> I wouldn't time. I would miss Eeyore's party, so I'd really like to finish. Like I clicked on the two, but it I didn't. I should like, go see my good friend. It didn't Rabbit. say I did because it's the game started lagging at that point. Darn it! Oh, good, you're back. Follow me quickly now. Rabbit was a little off model there, but that's okay. All I right. want six tomatoes. <laughs> Wonderful. <laughs> Oh, I hope that was Simply fast enough. Stupendous. That was a little slow. I want seven carrots. Okay, that that's you the come worst. Back sometime. You're such the a carrots are the that worst. Way I can go to the party too. It's like almost impossible to tell how many carrots are in each group like in Rabbit. less than a second. And you really don't have that much time at all. I want four peaches. That's just a <sighs> All right. I'm pretty confident I did oh, that in the right amount of time. Magnificent, marvelous! Just a few more, and we'll be finished. I want four to make. Okay. There's lag on the jar. You have to click it a couple times. I want seven carrots. <laughs> oh, yes! Hooray! I want 
two potatoes. Oh, thank oh, goodness it was it. two. <laughs> so good. Like it's and here's another to fill. I want four cucumbers. Oh, no, 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 I'm not sure if that was fast enough. Oh, simply stupendous. That was... I want seven plums. Darn it. Do come back sometime. You see how hard it is to just eyeball it, like, instantly? I can go to the party, too. It's just brutal, and there are no checkpoints. I, I, I want three pairs. Wonderful. Now... No, mm, those have been on the slow side. That one's all finished. Here's another. I want 14 cherries. Nope. Those. Okay, those are the worst. You're such a big help, and that way I can go to the park. Okay, we get it, Rabbit. Y you were a big help, but I think I should if you don't, if you were if really appreciated oh. us, you wouldn't drive us this hard. I want five peaches. I don't go. <sighs> oh, good. And here's another to fill. I want 15... Oh, oh my gosh. Good I good. completely guessed on that one. Oh, magnificent. Marvelous. Just a few more and we'll be finished. Is that a fact? I want three... That's just the... Oh my gosh, we did it. Well, thanks to you, I finished all my canning. Now I'm ready for the next harvest. And, for your birthday gift, a jar of my finest preserves. You we keep did it! If you'd like. I can't I'll believe see it! you as soon as the party started. Save me a place, will you please? Okay, if I got incredibly lucky with the strawberries. And now we should visit some other <sighs> someone. Oh, but which someone shall it be? Only one left, Piglet, and his is and arguably now, the hardest. I think I shall visit Piglet's house. So off Pooh went to visit Piglet. You wouldn't think Piglet would be that hard, but he is. I stopped in to see if you'll be joining us for Eeyore's birthday party. Oh, I didn't know Eeyore's birthday falls on today this year. Oh, d dear. Whoever will make the banners and decorations and... And do you suppose anyone has thought of the cake? Oh, I'd better get busy, Pooh Bear. Do you think you and your friend might finish my pictures while I'm getting things ready? We can give the very nicest one to Eeyore. So sure sounds simple enough. But it's not. So we're going to level three. <sighs> yeah. Okay, so first off, you need to move your mouse to now, render let's this color paint. The picture to match the little one, little piglet did. Move the brush to a color you want to add, and click. Click again on the spot you'd like to color. Use spots in the paint box to mix new colors. So yeah, we use the paintbrush to paint over all the unrendered stuff. Okay, so here's the fan. We only have six colors, so we're gonna have to mix some new ones. So you'd think the developers would just do something simple like, oh, yellow and blue, make green. Blue and red, make purple. No, you've got to make very, very specific shades of each color. So, for example, brown. This brown. This is where you can blend colors to get all. You can see the brown in here, and then the brown on the now picture. Put Different shades. Down. We're Move going to need to, to change the click. shade by clicking on top of the so, first. Color, that's not the right shade together. either. Brown. So let's add more brown to it, maybe some black to it. There we go, dark brown. Perhaps the color Piglet wanted was a different color. <sighs> so the night, the one nice thing about Piglets, if you mess up, that's fine. You actually still can win. The problem is getting the freaking right shade. Ugh. You may need to mix a new color now for light blue. Let's put a little blue with a little white. Uh, more brown. Uh, nope. More brown. And. Why, well, you've become quite There we go. This, and quite quickly, too. So, you can see the blue here? Not the right color. Yellow. Yeah. <laughs> you can see that the colors are already getting weird. Perhaps you might try some other color. White. 
No, that's not the right color. Okay, fortunately, that's pretty easy. The yellow is easy. Oh, we also need to make green. Congratulations! So those are the simple ones. We still have to make the sky, though. That was a fine choice, but it doesn't seem to be the choice Piglet had in mind. That was a fine choice, but it doesn't seem to be the choice Piglet had in mind. Oh, I think we got the right shade. Oh my gosh, we got the right shade. That boy takes so freaking long to get normally. Oh yeah, we got pink. Uh, we need like a white. No, we need a darker pink. Brown. No. Not a little brown to the. Nope. Blue. Oh, this. I think this. Oh come on! Ah, uh, I suppose you'll have to mix a color or two to get what you need. For orange, add a bit of red to a bit of yellow. Yeah, but that's the wrong shade. Yellow. I know it looks like I'm just putting random colors Yellow. in one place, but like, it actually is changing the shade. There we go. That's the right shade of orange, I think. Yep, that's the right shade, okay. Yes! <sighs> Alright. Just have the purple left. And it's a dark purple. That's dark red. I wanted a dark purple. Though that color's very nice, I believe Piglet was looking for another one. Oh no, come on! I thought that looked ex No, that one's a bit, like, brighter. Yes! So oh, very nice. <sighs> you finished coloring Piglet's first picture. If you'd like, you can add some decorations to make no, your picture that's... more, uh, yours. <laughs> no, that's a when trap. Done, you need it exactly like that. To start in okay. Painting number two, Owl's House. Let's Orange. see. Uh, I think we still... Okay, good. We still have the right brown from last time. Pink. Oh, no! We overwrote the light blue! Shoot. Okay. It was just one shade away. That's good. Uh, let's see. Orange. No. That oh. was a fine choice, but it doesn't seem to be the choice Piglet had in mind. Cool. So, red for there... Blue. Yellow. Fortunately, you can use that very specific shade of blue to make a very specific shade of green to color that. And now, I think we just need this specific shade of yellow. Oh my! Yes! You finished coloring Piglet's second if you picture! Do the, if you do the first picture right, the second picture is a lot easier. Otherwise, it takes just when as long as the first one. When you stuck all the sticky things you wish to stick, click on the arrow to start a new picture. Oh, we still have to do another one? No! We just overwrote the orange. Oh wait, no we didn't. We can just add one more red. Congratulations! Pink. Still got the pink from last time. Okay, that also colored Rue's ears. Cool. Simple yellow. Oh, shoot, we overwrote the white blue again. Light blue. I couldn't have done it better. Heck yeah. Yellow. 
Weaves are simple enough. Brown, we still can use from last. Nope. That was a fine choice, but it doesn't seem to be the choice Piglet had in mind. And yes, once again, using colors from last time oh, can nice. really help you out. You've finished Piglet's third picture. Piglet, come on! How many pictures do you need? Alright. It's always nice to have one. Yes. Oh, what? Always overwrite that. Stones. How wonderful! And that needs Yellow. to be a bit lighter. A bit darker. There we go. That was a fine choice, but it doesn't seem to be the choice Piglet had in mind. Yes! Oh, yes! Thank goodness we're done with piglets. Are we seriously done with the game? Oh, my! That's one of the nicest paintings I never did. <laughs> this will be a perfect gift for Eeyore. I do believe everyone who should be told has been told of Eeyore's party. And now that we've helped our friends in need, we can all celebrate Eeyore's birthday together. <laughs> Thanks to you. So let's go, shall we? I cannot believe I did it. That I should game... like to propose a toast to my good friend Eeyore in honor of his birthday. Three cheers for Eeyore! Hip -hip 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 <laughs> it's not my birthday. It's not? <laughs> what did he say? Back nowhere near. Oh my word. I thought you'd like oh, to know. Right. Oh, it's my tummy and I who are to blame. I suppose it was some other thing we forgot to remember. Oh, Pooh Bear. It's a catastrophe. <laughs> but I have an idea. <laughs> I hope like it's so one. ticked. Although today is not Eeyore's birthday, we are here together, old friends and new friends. So perhaps we should make this a day for Friends Day. That's a very good idea, Pooh Bear. <laughs> Poor Eeyore. This is so much fun. Let's not have Eeyore's birthday again tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> and so it was. And since many other days were also not Eeyore birthdays, those two, they made days for friends. <laughs> Poor Eeyore, they never remember his birthday and they always celebrate it on the wrong day. Oh my gosh. Piglet's house. I can't believe... This game... is insanely hard. I can't believe... that I actually beat it. Give a click. Hmm. Are you sure you and got to And never got to join the party. And I hope you enjoyed this really weird random let's play I did. Hopefully it gave you some laughs, because I know it gave me some Thank laughs. Thank you for making Eeyore's party the best not-birthday party he's ever had. <laughs> and I hope you will come back soon, as our forest is a nicer place when we have friends to share it with. Oh, bother. That's very nice. I do really like the music for the credits. Anyways, thanks for watching again. And as always, have a great day, and God bless. Happy April Fools, everybody.